everybody, welcome back. It's Hebel and Noah here. It's, uh, it's another late episode, but let's get started. Uh, let's uh, finish building these uh, buildings here. Um, there will be one and then one more, and then that will be the end of this sort of strip. The real strip was supposed to be longer, but I think um, I could structure block it over eventually. But we're gonna need some blocks here. Um, get some dark oak logs or stripped. Um, you're also going to need some like stripped birch, some sandstone walls. All right, some dark oak trapdoors if you're in default, and in my texture pack um, that we have. Um, and some dark oak blocks. So come right up against this building and one block back and bring up by two, which actually, uh, let's see, yeah, that lines up right. You're gonna get out your polished block that we have, the deep slate. You're gonna bring that down to here, okay? And so now from here, we're gonna go one more block back and then bringing up past this an additional four. Okay, so you should have that. Um, now, you're also going to need some dark oak stairs. Let's see, right here, all right. You're gonna come to this block right here. You're gonna go over by three blocks okay and then you're gonna go up by um, three then three or should I do four I think you yeah, just take it over one more to make it four and then go like that with your walls behind it add some birch some strip birch and then two like this okay so you have three three then right here, you'll have uh, two, then skip two, and then put two. Behind this, go up to the fourth. And then on here, on every one of those exposed logs, add a spruce. So you should have this so far. All right. Now, you're going to get some uh, some gray terracotta or if you're in default brown terracotta and you're just going to go back by five and just raise this up so you uh, raise it up to the top so of course you could use a lighter block or a darker block but I was doing um, interior for this building and I am for all of the buildings but just um, I just want to get the first um, area in to give like the like sort of show and feel of it and then from here you're also going to get an oak trapdoor if you're in my texture pack that will be dark oak take up the logs by one more because I forgot to bring it up make sure to get these up here too so it's a tall hallway in fact you could even arguably raise that up by one more then from here you're going to add stairs on all three of these now in between you're going to add two like this and then connect these as well so you can go either with the stair and then one like this all right but personally, I don't like that, and so I have it like this. <clears throat> now you're going to run a sideways strip across like this. Alright. Now you're going to raise this up. Um, so you're, But first, before you do that, you're going to have three here. Place one here, then you have three here. Now we can raise this up. And so... The way we're going to do this is by using two things, and I 
hopefully we have a blue one and we do so let's see can I use is this like a pillar perfect I needed that to be a pillar now you're going to use some new blocks um, some birch stairs um, and slabs okay now before you do that just freeze it up by another th four I guess you could do uh, well four in total then you're going to put a row of stairs right here okay and then behind it so if this is the roof you're going to put one here okay so in total should be three so make it go to the top where you have it right here all right cool so now we have that it will be like a little bit it won't be as bright as I wanted it to be but that's because you know texture pack Okay, now make sure to put one birch right there, and then with your slabs, create blocks, two stairs, and then one there. Alright, so right here, then right here, you go like this, and then you'll have two, one. Alright, so it's super easy to do that, and it looks really nice. Okay. Now, you're going to raise it up by one more block, and then you're going to bring over a slab, just like this. Or, I guess in theory, you could do a stair, and so that's what we'll do. We'll use a stair, just so we'll have a good size block for the next. So you see how that perfectly matches up? And then we'll just raise it up a random amount. Alright. Uh, we're also going to use the um, oak logs. Or stripped oak logs if you want. And this middle block will be the log. So, the, so yeah, right here will be the log. So see how that acts as the next one? That's pretty neat, huh? Right here we'll go one, two, three. So in total, I guess if you're cutting from there, it will be four. And the next one, can you guess what we're gonna do? We're going to do something like this. You're going to go um, two up, one in the middle, okay? And so this is where we're switching it up. You're going to use your birch stairs and you're going to put one in the middle and then curl them on the sides just like this alright next you are going to use your uh, stems to go up two curve one in the middle and then right here to create this bam okay now here's what you're gonna do right here where it comes out you're going to angle that up like this and so don't go up to there but just up to there to where that ends then right here um, you're going to actually need your trapdoors and stairs then right here you're gonna go out by two trapdoors maybe even more um, you're also going to need some um, if you want you could use dark oak but it um, so that's what I'm gonna do dark oak and then right here I'm going to use some brown concrete okay so right here you're going to place um, so you have your trap door and you're going to curve it up like this just like that then um, in the middle just for now place one trapdoor and then you'll get something like this okay now from here just place any block in the middle in the middle 
Then you'll place uh, stairs on either side of it. You um, now from here, you are going to use your brown concrete. Of course, you could use your. Um, but we're gonna actually test it out with two materials. One with the uh, logs, which will look like this. Um, like this, okay, with, um, two buttons here, here, which doesn't look bad, kind of enjoy it, now right here in the middle, we'll put two of those, and then let's just quickly trade it out for brown. How does that look? I like that better. Um, I'm sorry if you don't. Not really. Alright, um, now you're going to need some prismarine again. So I'm going to get some prismarine. Prismarine blocks. And the reason I say again, even though I haven't even... Oh yeah, I have used it right down there. And then you're also going to need right here. Then right here, you're going to put the stairs. So two stairs here, then a slab. Then you're going to go up right here, right there. All right, one um, here. I think yeah and then put a slab underneath and then right here at the top part of the block you're going to put a prismarine stair then one of those then you're also going to put one right there alright now from here again you're gonna do that same move and it's actually just a bit too steep for my liking so right here I'm going to even it out right there and put a stair oh I can't well can't put one there either hmm interesting let's see what can I do here to make this look even? Even, Stephen. All right. Uh, let's take this down back to right here. We'll have one, and then put two. And then we'll come here and put two. Then go up. And then put one. We'll actually, we'll make sure to go to there first. So right there. Okay. One there. Over. Then up a block. And then one there. Then we'll curl it in like this. We'll place three blocks across the top. We'll place one here. And then uh, here. One in the middle. Two right here. Alright. So yeah, that works. Kind of feels a little bit odd, but... It definitely fits. Um, here's the next thing you're gonna do. Put most of the materials you have up in your inventory. Now get out dark oak fence. You're going to get out your dark oak slabs which we've had previously. Um, your trap doors. You're gonna get out chains which we haven't used yet anywhere in my city. 
you're gonna use the warped nylium the like warped um ones which i don't have so i'm gonna have to settle for um i guess i could use mangrove because it fits in well then you're gonna use your dark oak fence gates then your um glass of your choice um i think this will look pretty with the light blue so right here fill it in to add some brightness because this build is kind of looking dark this one okay now from here what we'll do is we'll put two here okay then we'll go out by one then go down so that's three and then you'll go down one more to make it five okay well yeah four will work okay cool but um if we can just do it from right here instead Okay, so, so from there, okay, cool, let's do it from right there. There you go, so that's four, and it works, and then right back here, we'll just add the dark, oh, um, actually, let's use the strips. So right back here, we'll use the strips facing upwards. Okay, yes, that looks nice. Now right here, where we have this sort of out um, hang, overhang, we will use these two as a way with the chains and then right here let's go out with trap doors which will also put some chains here let's just try that out try to see if it will look nice so we'll use the top part of this block and then we'll move on to the next building whoops come on two then do this okay cool like that a lot now right here where we have these two you'll use your fence and you'll just go inwards okay then I guess we could use our slabs to go like this. Then like that. All right, I like that a lot. That just gives it some character. And I personally believe that build should have character. Now right here, you're going to, let's just try out the mangrove trap doors on the sides. See if that adds or takes away from the feeling that we have going on. Because this may feel fairy tale ish. I want this to be an older block. So, as you can see, we have like some skyscrapers, and we will have a high rise on this block. Just not right here. And I dig that. I totally dig that. That is awesome. Alright. Okay, and then we'll finish up this part of the roof. And instead of having each building having its own HVAC equipment, I was thinking we can conjoin it in one big HVAC roof. So I guess we could do something like this. 
Nah, that's lame. Uh, let's do this. We'll use our log. This is where we use um, our stuff. Bring it backwards. Then right here, we could use dark oak. No, that does not work. What would work there? Let's try the Nylium or Hyphae, whatever it is. Have I been saying the Nylium this whole time? If I have, please correct me. Okay. There, there, there. Here. There you go. All right, that is super cute and lovely. Super lovely. Okay, that is a really nice building actually, and it fits fits in well. And when you get up close, you see the glass. All right, this is a super cute little shop. Um, so that's what these are. So this will be a bank. And not the main bank, but like sort of like a cool thing. Right here and here, I'm going to put some marking blocks. So like centerpiece blocks, basically. What's a cool centerpiece block? This? No, definitely not. That is disgusting. Ooh, how's that? That looks pretty sick but does not fit well hmm how is the netherite block look then I'll put the great concrete there I like that it's pretty cool but it just doesn't fit right all right so you'll be walking by and stuff. All right, uh, we will have interior for these shops on a life upcoming live stream. Um, I won't actually have room to do the entire block that I wanted to do, but I'll have some room. All right, so here's what we're gonna get next. First time we're using polish and site in a building here in our city. So let's use this, this C. Polish andesite could work. Let's use polish andesites, blocks, slabs, and stairs for now. And we'll go here, right next to this. We'll do three, one, over two, one, some here, then two. Let's go back. Six. So if I start here, let's go on the diagonal back by one. So we should, well, actually, let's add one more. Then we'll do three, a uh, two. Then we'll do six. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so now it's odd. Perfect. Then right here, we'll have a stair and a stair. All right, next thing we're gonna have is some gray terracotta with some stone bricks and some normal terracotta, I guess. Or, it's not really another red block that looks well. We could use mangrove. But anyway, you're gonna go like this. So you're gonna go up by four here uh, four here right here you're gonna go up um, to the top there and to the top there okay then close this up with the stone bricks bring this up right here and so what's kind of wrong with um, 
this area is it's not as bright as it is it kind of feels dingy dark and so I'm gonna put in some trees to kind of bring that out here in a minute not right now but later Okay, so the next thing I plan to do is using some dark oak trapdoors or oak, depending on which texture pack you're in. Let's just try something like this. Over. Okay, that's yeah, that looks that looks good. And how does dead coral look in this texture pack? So if this is dead, it's blue. That could look cool, but wait, what is that? Looks weird, but I like how it feeds right into the next one. It's pretty neat. So instead, I could use tough, which I will. It's a little bit darker than I planned. I wanted it to be the same tone, so maybe gravel. Yeah, gravel will work, and the way I'll make it flow is by using string. Will string work? That is a legitimate question. Let's see. So if I take it out to right here, will it work? Two blocks high. Yeah. Then I'll take it out by one here like this. Let's try that. Then right here, we'll go like that. Okay. Then the next thing we'll do is right here. We'll do two, two of those, and then one here, and then two string here with gravel. Then we'll take that over. So yeah, like this. All right, we'll put those two away just for now so I can get out uh, mangrove maybe might work. It's the closest shade I can get to granite. Yeah, I want to use mangrove a little bit more. So mangrove looks like really cool. So I use the mangrove. Um, let's see, what else can I use? And then on top, let's use a bone block, maybe. Uh, I'm just thinking for a moment. Uh, yeah, so we could use bone. How does snow look? I like snow. It's bright. It's going to add to the rather dark building. Okay, um, we're also going to need some copper. Are you a copper, sir? No. Uh, you're going to do the exposed waxed one. So let's do that here on the second one from the top where we'll add a window up there. So already I'm starting to like the layout of this building. And so since we're having an interior, I really don't have to do anything much else. 
Then let's quickly add some more cool detail. So let's be quick, cause I want. Oh wait, what if? What if we casually bring the snow up by one block? So we can like go like this: two blocks in, one here; two blocks in, one here and here. Well, actually, they're not two blocks in here. Let's just go like this here. And then we'll try. Let's put that up in our inventory. Let's use some smooth quartz. It's going to contrast with our dark. And we'll place two here on the fence. Well, actually, let's put chains. I mean, they introduced chains into the game. I haven't used them very much, um, many times. So let's use a chain with a block in the middle and then back by one block here, up, and then right there. Cool. Yes, I like this. This is a nice idea. Yeah, okay. The only thing is, I want it to be in line with that, so I will quickly just scooch this over one block. Getting some heavy inspiration right now from King's Island. Shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. There you go. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. This looks perfecto. I'm not sure we can get much more perfecto than this. So we have like a skyline theme here going on. This sort of like, so here's the biggest kind of the centerpiece of this part of the block. And so if you can't tell, we're almost done here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab some materials here. Going to grab out our gravel. Let's grab out stone bricks. And let's grab out some andesite. Then let's grab out our terracotta. Let's grab out... Hmm. What will act as we need something that will act like granite? Uh, some of you guys know this texture pack better than I do, so maybe red concrete powder. Or actually, let's let's try both. All right, let's go right here. Shoot. All right, so right here, let's do. How does concrete powder look with a brick in the middle? Looks pretty good. That stands out more. But which one fits the colors? I think that one fits the colors and is brighter, which I need. Then you, let's just do two bricks. One here, one here. Then again, we'll put our concrete powder. Then after that, we'll do two bricks, one here, giving us, well actually, let's do a brick, then um, this, then a terracotta, and then one here, and then this one can actually be one of those 
Then after that, so we're basically, the concrete powder is an, like a marker, but it kind of just blends in as like one of the other colors, but I want it to be evident, but that's not one of the colors. Okay, let's do like this, up one. See, we'll have six of those. So that's five. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. One, two, three, four, five. All right, two here, then we'll have one here, and then one down there. Well, that'll give us a three in a row, we don't want that. Okay, so three, four, five, and then right here will be six. So then that will make it a blammo. Three in a row. That does not matter though, I don't care. Ooh, interesting. Okay, there we go. So now you can kind of see like the vertebrae of this building. And this is actually designed to have some like uh, a back alley here but don't have one the next thing you're gonna need is your polished andesite stairs as well as some andesite walls and some uh, yeah oak trap doors Alright, right here. Let's go like this. So you're gonna go over three with your stairs, then three up with your wall. Okay, and then over three with your stairs, then over three with your stairs again, just upside down. Then do the same thing with your wall, and then over three like this. And then here you're gonna go over three with a andesite there and there. Okay, you're also gonna get string. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna use string, you don't have to. On this bottom block, I'm gonna put a gravel um, with two of those, a andesite, then a gravel, then a still bit brick, two gravel, well, see, I'm just narrating what I'm doing here. So that's what we got. All right, now from here, instead of having a another wall, we'll, we'll just go up three like that. And then you're going to use your um, oaks to go like this. It's going to look pretty unique right there. Right tear. Okay. And then you're gonna go like this. So you'll have that one block, then you'll have three. And so you're gonna use the blocks that we have been. Um you can actually get rid of the other ones if you want. It's up to you though. Dang it, just got rid of my terracotta. You're actually also going to need some. Uh, where is it? Copper, here, here it is. I forgot how they look without having the uh, cuts. The cut look better than the blocks because the blocks look like gold sorry let's get some um some oxidize just by one stage um slabs and blocks and stairs if you want which i will get Okay, now right here, 
So what you're gonna do, you're going to place two, the one in the middle, and then place a L shape of brick, then have so that L shape. And coincidentally, the building ends right here. So if you want to have a back alley, you can. Um this is where this building will lead into this one. But um Right here, I'm going to put a terracotta, and then a mangrove in the middle, a terracotta. And then here you'll put one. Then you'll have a upside down L shape. Well, an L shape like this. And one here, one there, and then a mangrove there. And you're literally going to continue this basically up the building a little bit. Mostly, um like uh, mostly terracotta is what you're gonna want so right here keep going up like this then this top block will be your mangrove the one right there which will be for me a brick then you're going to have where you have this area here Um, you're going to have a line of your cut copper across like this okay now on top you're going to have your stairs now on top of this you're going to have a row of copper stairs and then um, well, slabs first, then blocks behind, which will actually be slabs that look like a block. So, like that. Then you're gonna go behind by one, making it a full block. So, that's what you'll get. It's really kind of semi interesting. odd building it's interesting it's not the best I've ever made but like I said interesting um this time let's do lime stained glass panes how about that cool again a pretty good building for my like and then we'll use this building I don't have interior for so I'll use this spruce log for the doors then we'll have um, two glass panes behind it but I do have the design for the building next to it and this is a really skinny building so we can do it and so we are but before we do that I would like to put one last detail at the top, which is a lightning rod, just right there. So we have this really odd line of buildings here, which I actually really like. And I'm actually going to copy this over by one time with a structure block, because I like this building. I think um, it would give it justice. Whoops. Plus this building next to it will be skinny. So it really doesn't matter. Whoops. Forgot. Alright. We're going to go up by um, just a rough estimate of 32 blocks. And in this direction by I'm going to say about 10. Yep. I knew it was. So if I want it to... So I gotta go over 10. Well, actually, see, I'm gonna go over. Seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which should cut off those last three blocks, which is a good thing. Good. There you go. Now we have this really cool, interesting building, which I could actually extend the height of, which could look pretty cool. I actually will copy this somewhere else and raise it up by a lot. At least 10 floors high, because that, that's a pretty neat concept. It's actually really cool. Alright, this next building is really odd, but interesting. So you're going to use, let's see, let's use some strip spruce. Let's use some stone brick stairs. Let's use, I actually can't use my street block, so let's use a clay block. And we're actually using a door this time. So let's use a... What's a crimson door look like? Eh, I, I really don't like some of the doors in this texture pack. Really only stick to a couple. So I'm going to use the, uh, the jungle door, sorry. My apology. So we'll use the jungle door. With... The this kind of wall the well is there any orange walls I guess there isn't I wish there was orange walls in this game so I, I'll use mud bricks with some polished data site stairs slabs jungle or I guess warped then we'll use the light blue block, and that's going to make it, um, I guess, in some way lighter. We'll place two there. Let's skip over three blocks, then place two. So in total, will be five. Then behind it, place um, three then right here we'll place another three right there so we should be um, well first we'll we'll raise it up by one more block okay cool now right here let's do something different that we haven't done yet um, and we'll just have a staircase. Then right in here, we'll have some clay, which will be a little bit brighter. And then at the top half of this, let's place a stair with a slab, and then go over like that. Then right here. So just like that. Now you'll place a uh, a upside down st uh, stair like that then you'll go up by two and then up by two then you can bring this up if you want then right here be right here you'll go over like that See, that's pretty cool, huh? You can go over like this with it. And then this main point for me will be um, white. Just because I want to brighten up the mood. So we've slowly been making brighter colors. Now, let's do the... Um, next parts which should be quite simple and so what we're gonna do is just place 
our clay blocks in this manner. Alright. And so let's get rid of this block here. Then bring in our clay. Let's have one block here, one here, and then a a there. Like that. Then right here let's have some clay blocks surrounding it. Alright. Cool. On the sides of this, let's have some white wool, I guess. To switch it up. Alright, cool. Now the time for like the big part of this. Let's have our colors. So let's get blues. Then let's get. Um, sorry, one second. Let's get some prismarine stairs. Now, what are we doing with them, you may ask? Well, you shall see. Um, but before we do anything right here, you bring this across. Okay. We'll put flower pots here later. But the first thing you are going to do. Well, actually before that, sorry. My apologies. Is get a glass. But now you're going to go up by five. Three. Yeah, five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And then in with your slightly darker block which actually we could do the same block just in wool form so right here on this we'll have our wool variants and then on the inside we'll have that so it's like this but right here we'll have an even darker block that is still similar enough to where it will fit the thematic theme. We'll place three like this. Okay. And then we'll use our prismarine walls like this. Um, let's also get, just for the roof quickly, let's get some mud bricks, let's get some oak fence, alright. Now right here if we're going to have something interesting, you're going to have what we just had at the bottom right here, just upside down. And then bring this across just like this. Okay, and then raise this up by five. Raise it up by five. Right here, raise it up by three. Right here. Go across just like how we've been. Then here, you can just conjoin that. Place one here, one here, and then go down with your glass. I don't like the glass, I am going to switch it. I need black to contrast with it. So that's what I'll have. Shoot. Alright. <clears throat> so, right here. Actually, should let's just do it here. How about that? We'll put our oak fence gates out by a block. We make no mistakes. They're only happy little accidents. And we'll just go across with our mud bricks. Sorry, I'm just quoting Bob Ross. I didn't make a mistake. I'm just quoting one of the best painters of all time. Okay. And so this will perfectly have the same effect that we had here. 
Now right here, you'll just go up by two. Okay. Then we'll go like this here. Then we'll go up with a slab and then break the bottom one. Then put one more to make a full block. Then put your glass in there. Of course, I don't have a glass to go with it. So, yeah. Now, quickly, I'm actually going to clear my entire inventory and just do some quick um, cleanup of this area. Let's use the mud bricks as well as these stairs. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. Okay. Okay, and then here, here, and here. Right here. All right. And actually, here I just I want to use the oh wrong version. Well, use that and go behind. Okay, and then let's do the glass that we wanted, which is this one, the green. See how that looks. So we'll place two there. I was saying black could work, but I also think that this could work. How's this? Really cute. All right, so we have our little row here our little row here we have our really nice little area really like it with our cars and stuff um, this is a North American town even though I don't know why I have a London style bus but questions can sometimes never be answered so everybody I don't want to have to end it here I'm kind of on a building spree but um, I had a lot of fun um, building today before we finish up there is one last thing I would love to do so I'm gonna go up 20 blocks in our structure block I'm gonna go in the X direction by 10 um, 20 I guess it would be in total nope so 17 yes I'll save that as capital G. I'll go right here, so up a block with the stairs. Right there. And that should perfectly. Yes, it does. That raises it up, which is good. I needed the skyline to just be a little bit more interesting, or else it would be kind of boring. So let's see how does this look now a lot better now that it's taller well as you're walking near these two super high skyscrapers you get a tiny little taste of home old we're nearing an hour so I would like to thank you all for watching everybody I had an amazing time building those three buildings and this has been Noah I'm out. Ka-chao.